What is up, my people? All right, man, so we about to go to uh, Cars and Coffee. Got to get this joint out the way. Show y'all what's going on with the with the V6, man. Let me show you what I did, man. <sighs> Another one down, bro. Yep. Man, man, man. I, my luck is so bad with those. So the goal this time is we going on aluminum front splitter and we're going to be done with it. But let's get a cold start on this joint. You know. Yes, sir. Oh. Man. Also, if y'all remember, my clock was going crazy. We took care of that. Uh, put a new clock in there. So, that is no longer an issue. Uh, and... Man, we got something going on with the V6, man. We're gonna talk about it in a second. Once we get on the road, though. You know! All right, guys, so, three, man. So, uh, if you remember the last upload, well, don't you do it, Drake. Um, you guys remember the last upload, uh, we're gonna be doing the, uh, that's vape smoke, if y'all see all this uh, smoke in the air. Um, we're gonna be doing the uh, tune up on three, right? Well, just so happens, man, I'm going down the road and I felt it misfire. And uh, check engine light lit up, right? So I pulled over to a gas station, try to see what, and I could hear it kind of missing. Turn the car off, turn it back on, check engine light. Well, I mean, it, it only it blinked, it didn't stay lit. Um, but I was able to hear the misfire and, uh, like I said, turn the car off, turn it back on and then it was working perfectly fine. So I was like, man, that call to, <laughs> that call to change them spark plugs was right on time. Um, cause if you've been following the build, uh, you know, like early on, you know, I've said in the video that my car does run a little bit on the rich side. So Following the spark plugs out is something, you know, I was expecting it to do um, sooner than what you would typically have to change spark plugs on, you know, just like an NA car or one that's not ran, uh, ran a little bit on the rich side. Um, and the tuner gave me a whole explanation on why he, he tuned it like that, you know, because uh, again, the, the plan is for... Um, to turn the boost up and that was always the plan i just you know i didn't I, I never had like a set date that i was gonna turn it up but uh you know so we had it running a little more fuel just for you know when that was uh when we were ready to do that not to mention you know that pulley to to get it in boost faster all that stuff you know it's gonna need more fuel so uh that was in a nutshell the reason we had it uh you know just pushing a little more fuel than what it what it it needs um but yeah we're gonna take care of that uh tomorrow we're gonna break that thing down get that intake manifold in there get the um the new plugs in and uh like i said i'm gonna uh, you know i'm gonna let i'm gonna put some of that on video so you guys can check it out uh but today yeah man you know we haven't really pulled the 300 out for anything i only really drive this car maybe once a week uh you know twice if i'm lucky and um you know it's it's sitting other than that so you know it's uh definitely time to get that taken care of get her back where she needs to be really really light pull But yeah, you know, it still runs really good, you know. Uh, it's it. Now, I'm not going to record this whole drive. We got like a 50-minute drive, so obviously I'm not going to do that to y'all. 
<laughs> I know y'all can do that, but skip to where we get there anyways. But uh, yeah, you know, I just kind of wanted to give y'all a little update where we at with the car, man. So, cause like I say, 100% transparency with y'all. Like I'm not going, you know, well, again, once, you know, if, if it car actually has a problem, y'all will know about it. Like, um, you know, I'm not gonna pretend like everything is all just smiles and rainbows. This, and I mean, I'm not even gonna necessarily say this is a problem because, you know, uh, spark plugs, that's typical, you know, preventative maintenance for a vehicle anyway. Obviously a boosted setup is gonna put a little urgency on, you know, when you have to change them. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's that time. Like I really hope, I hope it does it Cause this is only my second time driving a car since it, it's done that so um i'm really hoping it does it again so you know maybe i can get on camera like you know it misfiring but yeah this will be like the first uh you know and uh, whether that's related to the supercharger or not who knows you know uh the spark plugs i got this the ngk plugs i put those in there uh probably i probably was still in the thirty thousand mile range and uh yeah because it was right after my warranty went out i don't know if y'all remember i had got the um the plugs and the um the rip call packs put in at the same time uh, i think i still had like 30 something thousand miles that was before the supercharger uh got installed and right after the warranty went out, which I'm pretty sure was like 36,000. So probably about 38, 39,000, you know, we put them plugs in, in preparation for the, uh, that is. So it's just flashing. Let's see if it, it stays solid. Shit, I probably shouldn't be driving up, see? didn't even stay solid so i'm guessing <laughs> the car is detecting a misfire but not enough to keep it uh illuminated i'm guessing because that's what it was i, I don't know if y'all were able to tell but um i could feel it you know in the car almost like it was stuttering so yeah that's it man It worked out just perfect I, I was hoping i could get it on camera but yeah it'll so it did that that one time probably won't do it again you know uh <laughs> tell you man life of a, a model right it's just uh part of the game so yeah we'll take care of that tomorrow hope uh, you know if it makes it to tomorrow you know it'll be something the car blows up on her way up there but now I'm not gonna lie to y'all. If <laughs> let's, let's say that does happen, we probably go just scrap this setup and just go ahead and do the swap. Because uh, I, I I am super anxious to to get started on that, but I you know I don't want to rush it. So I, I kind of wanted it to be natural from us my up you know modding this thing and it's just getting to its limit and it just blows it the fuck up is when i actually want to do the swap but we still we still got so much to do man we still got a lot to do like we still don't even have uh that man that guy in that jeep he uh he was starstruck <laughs> that was one of them breakneck moments but uh yeah we're gonna go ahead and turn right in front of you brother don't even worry about that uh yeah, we, you know, we still ain't on the 85 yet, and we gonna do it, but, you know, it's not that time yet. There it is again, man. I mean, that's about half throttle, that still felt good. Like, I didn't feel like it's lacking. <laughs> I don't know, man. We probably shouldn't be going and taking a, an hour drive. 
But fuck it. YOLO. You know. But uh, yeah, man. I'm going to cut this camera back on when we get up there. And uh, yeah, man. Show y'all some cars. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. Look how much uh, range we got left. <laughs> I got a gas station like, uh, I don't know, maybe two miles up the road, man. It was the week. We gotta just cruise, take it easy. We gonna go ahead, and I mean, there's plenty of gas stations, but I just don't wanna stop through those. You know, 18 miles left on the range. Good thing this thing is accurate in, <laughs> in this car. You know, 17, uh-oh. Nah, it's, it's literally the next exit uh, where I'm going, so 
we'll be fine. But that's my first time ever letting it get that low. And uh, you probably shouldn't let it get that low. Well, not probably. You shouldn't let it get that low. You know, you don't want to pick up all that trash out the bottom of your, your fuel tank, man. So uh, don't y'all do this. But, you know, I'm thugging out here. You know. Guys, we have made it home. Uh, got the big 5.7 out there. You can see her 5.7 uh, little leak spot. Um, that's from the last time. Like, it hasn't leaked since then. So, you know. Uh, and I still haven't checked it. Don't worry about it. I'm lazy as hell. Uh, but yeah, anyways, man. I've uh, been letting this thing cool down since I got home. Uh, we're going to start breaking this down that way come tomorrow. Because I've been in this heat all morning. So I, don't, I have no intentions on doing the work today. But we're going to break it down. You know what I mean? Get this intake manifold off. Get the catch can off. It's probably about time to empty those anyway. I'll let y'all see the contents of them. You know, if you happen to care. Um, and for my new guys, um, you know, if you're a new subscriber here and you made it this far, uh, I've had this kit on here for about 30,000 miles, a little over 30,000 miles now, about 32 uh, or so. Um, and this is the first, I guess you can say, kind of issue I've had. Um, and again, spark, I mean, you're going to have to replace spark plugs, whether you got a boosted setup or not. Obviously, this, depending on, you know, how your car is tuned, this may you know, speed up the process for when you need to replace them. But uh, again, I replaced those plugs before I ever got any of this put on there. So the plug's been on there for about 40,000 miles, uh, give or take, uh, probably a little more than that actually. Um, so with my car running a little bit on the rich side, I'm, I'm really not surprised at all. Uh, what I'll probably do in the future, um, just depending on how long we keep this uh, set up, is I'll probably just bump up the interval. So probably change spark plugs every 20,000 miles or so, 20, 25, something like that. I mean, there's only six of them. It ain't like the 5.7 where it's like 16 spark plugs. So, you know, uh, not a ton of work. And I'm not really worried about it. Like I said, I do have my factory call pack. So um, I'm gonna test these just to make sure that, you know, they're all operating as they're supposed to and if they are then we'll just stay with the rip if not we'll put the factories back in there uh really not a big deal um you know there's a lot of inform you know I, I don't know if it's credible or not but a lot of folks say those things do absolutely nothing rip has you know actual dyno tested results saying that they do now my guess is uh, I, they probably assist on a boosted setup. I don't know so much about uh, if you're NA, but uh, yeah, we're gonna check those out. And you know, if they're good, we'll just continue to rock with them. Uh, maybe time to throw some new ones at that too. Who knows? But uh, yeah, we'll get this catch can off. We're gonna get this throttle body off of here, all this charge piping and everything. And then uh, we'll start with this intake manifold first. Um, and I, pro I probably won't video me taking this, this stuff apart. I'll just video once I actually start doing the work, which again, will be tomorrow. Um, I'm not doing it today. So I'm actually working on a project for my old lady's car. She knocked the mirror off. So I'm about to put another mirror on her car. So uh, yeah, this is, um, this is where we at, man. So just in case I don't cut the camera back on, man, I uh, hope you all enjoyed today's upload. Got to see a lot of good cars at uh, Cars and Coffee this morning, mostly Mustangs. But uh, yeah, some cool ones, really, really special builds. Uh, you know, some of those guys got. So uh, with that, man, y'all take it easy. You know.